Good evening and welcome. Before it was caught red-handed, the Congress had decided in its manifesto in Telangana that there must be hospitals in which only Muslims are admitted, only Muslims. So if you're a Hindu or a Sikh or a Buddhist, you cannot be treated or admitted in an only Muslim hospital. And unless you are a Muslim, then no doctor will see you. And regardless of your, what your condition is, whether you're in an emergency situation or not, if you are a Hindu, you will be told to get out of the hospital. That's the Congress party's plan. The Congress also decided that there must be free electricity for mosques and churches exclusively. Mosques and churches. But no free electricity in Hindu temples or Sikh Gurdwaras. Free electricity for mosques. And when it was caught red-handed, the Congress had also decided that Muslim youth must get special consideration in jobs over Hindu youth, Sikh youth or other non-Muslim youth. Only Muslim youth must get special consideration in jobs. And the Congress, further in the manifesto, wanted to make Urdu the second language in Telangana and also, and this is important, look at the levels of discrimination. Say that Muslim students will be given a massive 20 lakh rupee loan each for higher studies. Only for Muslim youth, not for Hindu youth, only Muslims. This template and plan of the Congress, which the pseudo-liberals don't want to talk about, is essentially aimed at making India, in the long run, a Muslim first country, starting with Telangana. Muslim first Telangana, and then Muslim first India. Muslim first, other minorities later, and Hindus last. The fact that this is in an official election manifesto makes the plan clear. Go all out and be the party for Muslims. Even if that means making all others and Hindus second class citizens, don't hesitate to do so. And I ask you tonight, who does Rahul Gandhi think he is to make India a Muslim first nation?